हेलो एवरीवन इस पूरी सीरीज के अंदर हम पूरे सिलेबस को कवर करेंगे ऑन डिजिटल लॉजिक और डिजिटल लॉजिक के अंदर जितने भी सिलेबस है पूरा जो स्टार्टिंग से एंड तक हम पूरा टॉपिक जो है सब कवर करेंगे और उसके साथ साथ हम कुछ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को भी यहाँ पर कवर करेंगे तो आई होप जो क्लासेस है आपके लिए काफी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो आई थिंक यू नो माई नेम माई नेम इज हिमांशु कौशिक और मुझे गेट की फील्ड में स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाते हुए बहुत टाइम हो चुका है मैं इंडिया के बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन के साथ ऑलरेडी काम कर चुका हूँ और सब पहली बार मैंने गेट एग्जाम क्लियर किया था दैट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व तो ऑब्वियसली आप देख सकते हो कि इसी फील्ड में मुझे लगभग दस साल से ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस हो चुका है तो ऑब्वियसली हमारा जो एक्सपीरियंस है आपके लिए काफी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो इसी वजह से आप जो हमारी क्लासेस है उसको ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं और अगर आप मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं ऑन अन अकेडमी तो अन अकेडमी पे मेरे पास दो तरह के कोर्सेज जो होते हैं पहला जो है दैट इज कॉल्ड प्लस कोर्स एंड सेकेंड इज आइकॉनिक कोर्स तो प्लस कोर्स में स्पेशल ये है कि यहाँ पर इंडिया के बेस्ट टीचर्स यहाँ पर होते हैं और साथ साथ में जो मेरी क्लासेस होती है काफ़ी इंट्रैक्टिव होती है यानी कि आप और मैं क्लासेस के बीच में इंट्रैक्टिव या डिस्कशन हम लोग कर सकते हैं और साथ साथ में जब आप आइकॉनिक कोर्स में जाएंगे तो आइकॉनिक में स्पेशल है स्पेशल ये है कि एक मेंटर आपके साथ हमेशा साथ रहेगा तो मेंटर जब भी आपको कोई भी डाउट रहेगा आपको कोई भी नोट्स की जरूरत होगी या फिर आपको कोई मोटिवेशन की जरूरत होगी तो मेंटर हमेशा आपको सपोर्ट करेगा इन एनी वे तो अगर मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं विद अन अकेडमी चाहे आप प्लस ले या फिर आइकॉनिक ले मेरा कोई भी कोर्स अगर आप लेना चाहते हैं जस्ट यूज अ कूपन कोड विच इज कौशिक टेन क्योंकि कौशिक टेन में आपको टोटल टेन परसेंट ऑफ हमको मिल जाएगा जस्ट यूज दिस एंड होप यू लाइक दिस पूरी सीरीज जो है आपको बहुत अच्छी लगेगी एंड थैंक यू सो मच नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस लुक एट वट आर एडर्स सो वी हैव टू काइंड ऑफ एडर वन इज योर हाफ एडर एंड सेकेंड वन इज फूडर एक्चुअली वी हैव लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑल्सो हम सबके बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दम स्टेप बाय स्टेप first we will discuss about what is half header then full header then parallel header then ripple carry header okay or you can say carry look ahead header and then we are going to look at serial header so serial header is a part of sequential circuits half header full header carry look ahead header all of these headers are the part of this combinational circuits we'll start with the easiest one hum sabse asaan jo circuit hai jo sabse asaan examples hain we will start with the easiest example and we will try to make things as easy as possible so when i take half header half header means i want to add two bits of information agar mujhe sirf do bits ko add karna hai to us case mein hum half header lete hain if i want to add three bits of information then we take a full header so here you can see if i want to add two bits so two bits can be 0 plus 0 right then the sum is going to be 0 and the carry is going to be 0 so if i want to add two bits of information then i can do it in this manner so we can have 0 0 or you can say the first bit is 0 the second bit is bit is 1 then the sum is going to be 1 and the carry is going to be 0 if i add 1 plus 0 in this case the sum is going to be 1 and the carry is going to be 0 and if i add 1 plus 1 in this case the sum is going to be 0 and the carry is going to be 1 so basically two bits of information that is binary right so this is the same thing is represented with this table here to ab yahan par check kar sakte hain if you add 0 plus 0 then the carry is going to be 0 as well as sum is also going to be 0 if i add 0 plus 1 then the sum is going to be 1 and the carry is going to be 0 if i add 1 plus 0 then the sum is going to be 1 carry is going to be 0 and if i add 1 plus 1 in this case the sum is going to be 0 and the carry is going to be 1 so this is the truth table for half adder now what you can do is you can represent this sum with the help of a function hum is sum ko ek function ki help se represent kar sakte hain jaise here you can see this sum if you look at this table this is the table of x or gate this is exclusive or और यू कैन से वेन आई वॉन्ट टू टेक अ सम सम मीन्स ए एग्जॉर बी अगर हम ए का बी के साथ एग्जॉर करेंगे तो हमारे पास आएगा सम इन द सेम वे दिस कैरी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग ए डॉट बी तो अगर हमें कैरी लेना है सो दिस कैरी विल बी इक्वल टू ए डॉट बी इन दिस मैनर सो दिस मैनर आई कैन सिंपली इंप्लीमेंट दिस सर्किट सो दिस इज योर हाफ एडर सो इन दिस हाफ एडर आई वॉन्ट टू गिव बोथ द इनपुट्स दैट इज ए एंड बी 
the I want to know what is the carry and I want to know what is the sum. So I know what is the equation for sum. I know what is the equation for carry and I can simply implement it. Now so simply implement kar sakta hum. So you can make a K map, you can solve it without K map also. And with K map, you can identify the sum equation is AX or B and the Kali equation is A and B. And then you can implement it with the help of a circuit. So this is your circuit. So whatever, if you pass a A, if you pass a B, then this will find out what is the sum and this will find out what is a carry. Correct? So sum ki equation kya hai? A X or B. So that is, a, that is why I have used a XOR gate. And the carry ki equation kya hai? A and B. That is why I'm using a AND gate here. Okay, so implementing this half header is one of the most basic tasks you can do. Sabse asan or sabse basic task hai half header ko samajna. And this half header is a combinational circuit. So why do we why do we call them as combinational circuit? Because they are created using the combination of some gates. Un gates se kuch combination se circuit bante hain. That is why they are called as a combinational circuits. Okay. So this is again, this is the next example, which is representing your full header. Full header, full header means I want to add three bits of information. What you can do is you, you can add zero plus zero plus zero. In this case, the sum is going to be zero and the carry is going to be zero. If you add zero plus zero plus one, in this case, the sum is going to be zero and the carry is going to be, sum is going to be one and the carry is going to be zero if i add zero plus one plus zero in this case the sum is one and the carry is zero if i add zero plus one plus one in this case the sum is zero and the carry is one if i add one plus one plus one in this case the sum is one and the carry is zero so carry is also one here but carry be one hai or sum be one hai. okay so you can easily find out how to add three bits of information. Now easily three bits of information will find out karne ke liye expression ko bana sakte hai. You can fill this truth table in the same manner. Aap is truth table ko kuch isi tarikye se fill out kar sakte hai. And if you look at this truth table, what is happening here? Here, zero plus zero plus zero, the sum is zero and the carry is zero. Okay. If I add zero plus zero plus one, then the sum is one and the carry is zero. If I add 1 plus 0 plus 0, then the sum is 1 and the carry is 0. If I add 1 plus 1 plus 0, then the sum is 0 and the carry is 1. So in this same way, you can fill this entire table. And filling this entire table, trust me, it is very, very easy. Isko fill, fill out karna bahut zada asan hai. All you should know is what is the equation for sum and what is the equation for carry. I hope you understood this part. Now, how can I implement this as a circuit? How can I implement this as a circuit? Kar sakte what you can do is, just assume that sum is a function. As well as, just assume that carry is a function. This is representing the function 1, this is representing the function 2. So, for this function 1, I can create a k-map and that will be a 3 variable k-map. Because here we have a, b and c, we have 3 inputs. Input a, input b and input c, I have 3 variable k-map. So, then I can find what is the sum and I can find what is the carry. So for this sum, I can fill out this uh, k-map. We can fill out this k-map kar sakte hai. And in this k-map, I can take A here, I can take BC here. And wherever it is taking a value 1, where the sum ki value 1 is, just place 1 in this k-map. This k-map, place 1 in this k-map. I believe you are capable enough to solve this one. So you can make a k-map for this one. You can make a k-map for sum. You can make a k-map for sum. So this is the k-map for sum. So the equation for the sum is going to be a xor b xor c. This will be the equation for sum. Sum ki equation kya hogi hamare paas? a xor b xor c. In the same way, I can make a k-map for carry. So just look at this function and check the locations where it is having a 1. It is having a 1 in these locations. And then simply just solve this k-map and you can easily find out what is the equation for carry now i know i have the equation for carry i have the equation for sum now i can simply implement them in the form of a circuit i'm going to simply circuit ki form mein implement kar sakta. okay 
सो हाउ कैन आई डू इट डूइंग इट इज़ वेरी इजी एज यू कैन सी बहुत ही आसान है आई सी वाई एम नॉट डूइंग इट वाई एम नॉट इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस स्टेप बाई स्टेप इज बिकॉज आई बिलीव ऑल ऑफ यू आफ्टर स्टडिंग केम एप्स ऑल ऑफ यू आर कैपेबल एनफ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्किट्स ऑल ऑफ यू आर कैपेबल एनफ टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्किट्स नाउ इन दिस केस यू कैन सी दिस इज द केम एप फॉर सम एंड दिस इज द एग्जॉर ऑफ ए बी सी सो यू कैन सी टू रिप्रेजेंट द सम आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग एग्जॉर गेट एंड दिस इज the kema for carry i know the equation for carry and using this equation i can do an and operation and i can find the carry as an output i think it bahut aasan hai it is very easy and all of you easily understood this agar koi bhi doubt hai if you have this any doubt please ask me your doubts and one more very important thing one more very important thing see what happened is traditionally uh, ek ek uh, story hai na aap ek uh, kuch cheeze hain jo main aapko batana chahta hu what happens is the kind of knowledge that school student is having the same kind of knowledge the college student is not having school mein kya hota hai ki school mein jab aapke paas ek pura saal hota hai us pure saal mein in the complete year your teacher you know he monitors your performance and he teaches you and he takes test periodically and because of test and because solving so many questions you become very fluent in the entire syllabus if you feel if you check out then your school syllabus is much more difficult as compared to your college semester syllabus aapke jo college mein semester ka jo syllabus hai usse kahi zyada aasan aap difficult aapka school ka syllabus hota tha and people score good marks in school they score 80 to 90% marks in school and they suffer in college aisa kyun hai because in college people expect you ki aap sabhi cheeze khud se kar paaye राइट दे डो नॉट आस्क यू टू सॉल्व एनी प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन आपको जो आपकी स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स हैं उनकी एक्सरसाइज के क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है स्कूल टाइम यू हैव टू सॉल्व ऑल एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू मेक प्रॉपर नोट्स इन कॉलेज मोस्ट ऑफ द टीचर दे टीच फ्रॉम प्रेजेंटेशन एंड पी पी टीज एंड एज आई सेट अर्लियर ऑल्सो वी आर नॉट डिजाइंड टू स्टडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ पी पी टीज सो स्कूल में वेन टीचर गिवज योर डिक्टेशन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट डिक्टेशन यू आर एबल टू रिटेन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन योर माइंड आप काफ़ी चीज़ों को अपने माइंड में रिटेन कर पाएंगे नाउ वेन आई एम टीचिंग यूजिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन एंड पी पी टीज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिटेन दीज थिंग्स इन योर माइंड आप इन चीज़ों को अपने माइंड में रिटेन ही नहीं कर पाएंगे यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिटेन दीज थिंग्स इन योर माइंड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आप इनको काफ़ी लंबे टाइम तक अपने माइंड में रिटेन नहीं कर पाएंगे देन टू रिटेन दीज कॉन्सेप्ट टू रिटेन दीज थिंग्स वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर नोट्स वट एवर डायग्राम इज रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर इन द स्क्रीन or whatever truth table that is created here with the ppts i want all of you to make proper notes for them agar aap in sabhi cheezon ke liye proper notes banayenge whatever i'm trying to teach you whatever i'm trying to explain to you if you make proper notes for all of these things then you will be able to follow these things you will be able to you know remember these things for a very long time and you will be able to solve many questions अगर सिर्फ पीपीटीज या प्रेजेंटेशन के ऊपर आप डिपेंडेंट रहेंगे देन यू नॉट बी वेरी मच कंफर्टेबल यू नॉट बी वेरी सक्सेसफुल बट आई सजेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इवन इफ आई एम टीचिंग हियर ऑन द बोर्ड इवन इफ दीज डायग्राम्स आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएट बाय आई क्रिएट दीज डायग्राम्स आई क्रिएटेड दीज डायग्राम्स फॉर माय कन्वीनियंस फॉर मेकिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन लुक अट्रैक्टिव मेकिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन लुक इन अ बेटर फॉर्मेटेड मैनर मैं चाहता हूँ कि जो मेरी प्रेजेंटेशन है वो एक अच्छी फॉर्मेटेड मैनर में क्लीन प्रेजेंटेशन रहे दैट इज वाई आई एम यूजिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज diagrams here otherwise i could have drawn these diagrams but if i draw them then i will not be able to create proper figures i will not be able to create proper diagrams but i recommend all of you i suggest all of you please make all of these things in a notebook please try to understand step by step if you make these things in your notebook if you try to make proper notes then you will be able to follow through this in a proper manner you will be able to retain this thing for a long time अब जनरली क्या होता है कि अगर मैं आपको डायरेक्ट बुक से कॉपी करके पढ़ाता हूँ इफ़ आई जस्ट टीच यू डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द बुक्स राइट देन इफ आई जस्ट गिव यू माय नोट्स देन यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिटेन सो इट इज ऑलवेज रिकमेंडेड डो नॉट फॉलो डो नॉट फॉलो अदर नोट्स राइट डो नॉट लुक फॉर द नोट्स आई मीन द प्रेजेंटेशन पी बी टी दैट इज शेयर विद यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मेक योर प्रॉपर नोट्स मेक नोट्स इन योर ओन हैंड राइटिंग बिकॉज यू विल बी एबल टू फॉलो योर ओन नोट्स फॉर आफ्टर वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू रिटेन इट ठीक है सो दिस इज माई पर्सनल सजेशन सो इन योर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेट एस लुक एट हाफ सब ट्रैक्टर नाउ लेट एस लुक एट वट इज अ हाफ सब ट्रैक्टर सो दिस हाफ सब ट्रैक्टर इज बेसिकली इट इज गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट टू बिट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन 
just like we did full adder in the same way we have a half adder in the same way we have half subtractor as well as full subtractor now in this half subtractor if you check it if you do 0 minus 0 that means 2 bit of information then the result will be 0 so this is your difference and in the same way we have something called as a borrow so here we do not have to take any kind of borrow whatsoever but if you do 0 minus 1 correct so you will know that this 0 is less than 1 right jo 0 hai wo 1 se kam hai in this case this 0 has to take a borrow isko ek borrow lena padega and the borrow is going to be 1 so when when you take a borrow this number which is 1 0 it becomes 2 and if you subtract uh, minus 1 from 2 then the result will be 1 right in this case the borrow is going to be 1 as well as the difference is also going to be 1 yahan par jo borrow hai wo bhi 1 hoga aur jo difference hai wo bhi 1 hoga in the same way when you do 1 minus 0 now in this case we do not have to take any borrow so borrow is equal to 0 as well as the difference here is going to be 1 and if you do 1 minus 1 in this case the borrow is going to be 0 and the difference is also going to be 0. So you should know how to subtract 2 bits of information. So once you know how to subtract 2 bits of information now simply you can evaluate this table right. So just check out what, what's happening in this table. In this table we have 0 minus 0 the difference is 0 and the borrow is 0. If I do 0 minus 1 the difference is 1 and the borrow is 1. When I do 1 minus 0 the difference is uh, in this case the difference is 1 and the borrow is 0 when do 1 minus 1 now the difference is 0 as well as borrow is 0 so you can make this table for half subtracted now you can see i got one equation for borrow and i got, I got one equation for difference now in this borrow we have only for this combination we have a borrow as 1 and this combination is representing a complementation b Ye a complementation b ko represent karta hai. and if you look at the difference only in two locations it is having a 1 and if, if you look at it closely then, then this difference is your exclusive OR. So if I say A XOR B, A XOR B, now that will give us the difference, correct? So I know what is the equation for A XOR B, that is what is the difference equation for difference, I know what is the equation for borrow. Now I can simply implement these equations to implement this function, right? So I've got this A, I've got this B and if I perform an XOR gate, here then this will give us the difference and between this a if i take this a as it is if i take this b on this a i'm applying a not gate and now here i'm going to use a and gate if i'm using a and gate this is becoming a complement b and this is representing your borrow ye borrow ko represent karta hai in this way you can easily implement a half subtractor circuit so let us check it here so aapke paas ye table hai this is your truth table from this truth table you can easily find out the equation for difference you can easily find out the equation for borrow and then you can easily implement this half subtractor and you can clearly see implementing this half subtractor is such an easy job just like we have a full adder in the same way half subtractor is also very very easy now in the same way you can implement this full subtractor so I'm leaving this exercise for you. Just maybe go through your books, maybe uh, your study material books, whatever you have. So using that books, uh, you can follow, uh, you can try to find out full subtractor. Okay. And I think one more thing that I wanted to tell you, what is the book you can recommend? So as I told in the beginning of the subject, you can recommend A. Anand Kumar or you can rec recommend Morris Mann. You can use any of these two books to uh, practice for digital knowledge. Okay. Now the next one here is, is a comparator, okay. So agla jo hai aapke paas, wo ek comparator hai. By the way, this is the implementation of uh, this half subtractor using a NAND gate. Hum is NAND, is implementation wo NAND gate se bhi kar sakte hai. Let me explain you how this NAND gate implementation is done. Ye NAND gate implementation hum kaise kar sakte hai. So coming back to this original uh, table, here you know that this is borrow. Right, agar aap yahan par check karenge, this is representing your borrow. So this borrow equation is A complementation B. And this is representing your difference. This is A XOR B. Now if you know the equation for A XOR B, A XOR B kya hota hai? A XOR B is A complement B plus A B complementation. Now just use this and try to implement this using a and or logic. 
राइट तो यहाँ पर क्या ये एंड गेट है और ये क्या है आपके पास और गेट तो आपके पास दो तरह के लॉजिक हो सकते हैं अदर यू कैन यूज एंड ऑल लॉजिक और यू कैन यूज और एंड लॉजिक और एंड लॉजिक मीन्स वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एक्सप्रेशन एंड और लॉजिक मीन्स वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एक्सप्रेशन सो हाउ कैन आई सिंपली डू इट सो दिस इज योर ए आई एम पुटिंग अ नॉट गेट ऑन ए करेक्ट एंड दिस इज योर बी एंड आई एम यूजिंग अ नॉट गेट ऑन बी ठीक है सो सिंपली वट आई कैन डू हेयर इज वट आई कैन डू हेयर इज इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग दिस ए एंड बी लाइक दिस आई कैन जस्ट टेक इट दिस वे सो आई कैन से दिस इज योर ए एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द नॉट ऑन ए दैट इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड दिस इज योर बी and this is presenting the not of b that means your b complementation so i know i have a complement now i know i have b complement now ab mere paas a complement bhi hai and b complement bhi hai so i can simply you know explain this circuit now ab is circuit ko kaise bana sakte hain it's very easy so first of all here i have to take a and gate in this and gate we have to take a complement so this is presenting your a complement so just use this circuit a complement and this is presenting your b so i'm using this b here correct and then i have a b complement so this is your a so i'm taking this a as it is this is your a and then we have b complement so this is representing your b complement so this is representing your b complement i can take both of them and now this output is a b complement and this output is a complement b now in on both of them i can apply this gate which is your uh, this gate is representing your or gate therefore the equation will be a complement b plus a b complement i hope this much is clear i hope aap sabhi ke sath na clear hoga now as i told you i can simply change all of these gates to a nand logic main sabhi ko nand logic ke andar change kar sakta hu how how can i do it it's very very easy just uh, take uh, these gates first of all if i am applying a not here then i can apply not here if i am applying a not here then i can apply not here now you can see this is representing a nand gate by de morgan's law ye de morgan's law se nand gate ko represent kar raha hai so simply i can replace this one here main yahan se isko replace kar sakta hu and i can simply and add a nand gate here yahan par aap simply ek nand gate ko add kar sakte hain so the output is same in the same way this is representing a not gate so you can simply implement a not gate using a nand gate i think aapko pata hai how can i do it it's very very easy so just replace it just replace it and here i'm going to do something like this so to okay so i think uh, last time i've done it earlier so let me let me rub this one also mai isko bhi rub kar sakta hu so simply you can apply a nand gate here and now because of this nand gate this is representing a not gate in the same way here also i can take a b and i can apply a nand gate here right so after applying a nand gate this is presenting b complementation so now implementing this circuit using only a nand gate it's very easy sirf nand gate se implement karna hai isko bahut hi aasan hai it's very very easy and you can see the same kind of circuit here so i can apply this nand gate to implement a not gate to hum is nand gate ko implement kar sakte hain not gate ko implement karne ke liye i know this is also a nand gate but this is implementing a not gate and this is the same logic the same circuit that i have created so implementing this gate just this uh, half subtractor just by using a uh, nand gate is also very easy in the same way you can also implement your half subtractor half adder full adder full subtractor comparator any circuit whatsoever any circuit can be implemented just by using nand gate hum kisi bhi circuit ko sirf nand gate ko use karke implement kar sakte hain it is such an easy task okay now the next one here is your comparator तो अगला जो है आपके पास कंपैरेटर है सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग ओनली टू बिट कंपैरेटर राइट सो टू बिट कंपैरेटर मीन्स देखो आपको करना क्या है यू हैव टू चेक कि अगर आपको दो नंबर दे दी जाए विच नंबर इज बिगर जैसे जैसे इफ आई से द नंबर ए इज वन एंड द नंबर बी इज जीरो ओके सो हियर आई कैन क्लियरली सी ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी ए जो है वो बी से बड़ा है इफ नंबर ए इज जीरो एंड नंबर बी इज वन देन वी कैन से बी इज ग्रेटर देन ए If a is also zero as well as b is also zero and a is also one as well as b is also one in those two cases, your a is equal to b. So this comparator, the task of this comparator is to take two bits as input and it has to tell 
विच ऑफ दिस बिट इज बिगर इसमें से कौन सी बिग बिट बिगर है यू हैव टू कंपेयर दिस बिट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर मैग्नीट्यूड तो जब उनको कंपेयर करेंगे तो उनको मैग्नीट्यूड से कंपेयर करते हैं दैट इज वाई इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मैग्नीट्यूड कंपेरेटर एंड मेकिंग अ ट्रूथ टेबल जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट दिस इज वेरी इजी इसका जो ट्रूथ टेबल बनाना है बहुत ही आसान है इट्स वेरी इजी टू मेक अ ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर दिस कंपेरेटर एंड आई होप दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो सी द ट्रूथ टेबल we have the input a we have the input b so if both the inputs are zero then neither a is greater than b nor b is greater than a right as well as both of them are equal dono jo hai wo equal hai if a is 1 and b is 0 here in this case a is greater than b correct so we can clearly see if b is equal to 1 a is 0 that means b is greater than a so here i can write b is greater than a and when both of them are 1 that means both of them are equal so you can easily make this truth table now after making this truth table your next task will be to create equation jaise jaise if i say a is less than b what is the equation for this it is having one only in this location and this location is presenting a complement b ye jo location hai ye a complement b ko represent karti hai when i say a is equal to b so this is presenting a x nor with b ye x nor operation ko represent kar raha hai and when i say a is greater than b now this is presenting a dot b complementation so i know i have three equations we have a uh, x nor b a complement b and a b complement and now implementing this becomes very easy what you can do this is your a right this is your b to implement the first one i can take b complement i can take b complement i can take a here and i can apply and gate so this is representing that a is greater than b In the same way, to implement this is also very easy, right? And in the same way, to implement this is also very easy. इसको बनाना भी बहुत ज़्यादा आसान है. Making these things are very very easy. So you can see the same circuit. यहाँ पर इस पूरे circuit को आप देख सकते हैं. So I've got a complement. This is giving us a complement. I've got b complement. This is giving us b complement. So this first equation is a complement b. The second equation is a b complement. And now this when a is less than b. so this is the first output when b is uh, is greater than b then this is the second output and when both of them are equal then i can just simply use an uh, xnor gate to implement this circuit now it is your task to convert this circuit to a nand nand logic aap is circuit ko kis tarike se sirf nand se implement kar sakte hain that is your task that is something that you have to do okay i hope that you understood this aap sabhi ko ye samajh mein aaya hoga and this is such a easy problem itne aasan cheeze hain hamare paas Now the next one is a two-bit comparator. Two-bit comparator. So what do I mean to say by two-bit comparator? देखो, if we have a two-bit number, जैसे we have zero zero. So what is the decimal value for this bit is zero. And if I say we have one zero, so what is the decimal value here is two. Correct? So you can see two is greater than zero. In the same way, you can take one zero, right? And we have one zero one. So its decimal value is one, and its decimal value is two. So you can see this bigger bit is bigger than that bit. So when we talk about two-bit comparator, ki baat karte hai, now the job of two-bit comparator is to compare two bit of information. We have to compare two bits. Compare karna hai and uh, accordingly, we have to tell which of those two, two bits, bits are bigger, right? If I take something like this, zero zero and one one, so it is clear that one one is greater. If I take zero zero and zero zero, you can see both of them are equal. So both are equal. Hai. So here. to do this i have to make a truth table of four bits why right? i can take this as bit a i can take this as bit b i can take this as bit c and i can take this as as bit d so with the help of four bits how many combinations will be there total of 16 combinations will be there in char bit ke sath hamare paas total 16 combinations honge and you can see all of these combinations here aap in sabhi combinations ko yahan par bhi dekh sakte hain so i have taken a not and a1 that is your first two bits and you have to compare them with b0 and b1 so just write down all the possible combinations now i can say when a is greater than b i have to write one here so here is, you can see in this case a is greater than this b right so its its decimal value is one and its decimal value is zero iski jo decimal value hai wo one hai aur iski jo decimal value hai wo zero hai in this same way here you can see This is the a, so its decimal value is two, and its decimal value is zero. Two is greater than zero. So in this in this manner, you can take all the inputs, 
and now you can find out if a is greater than b or not if a is equal to b or not if a is less than b or not so is tarike se aap isko simply implement kar sakte hain i hope that you understood this part easily now you can find a equation for this aap iske liye ek equation bana sakte hain just make a k map make a k map for this and make a k map for this teeno ke liye aap alag alag k map banaiye and by making a k map you can implement so let me show you the k maps also so these are the k maps so ye pehla k map hai aur before i show you this let me come back to this and maybe you can miss check out the k map here so this is a k map for a greater than b ye jo main k map yahan par bana raha hu so this is the k map for a greater than b okay so here this is representing a not and a1 this is representing b not and b1 but showing it in this manner it will i think it can make things little complicated so let me let me draw it in this way so let me draw it in this way i have i'm taking here i'm taking b not here and b1 here and i'm taking a not here and a1 here because then things become very easy theek okay? hai now you can see these are the locations ye wo locations hain jahan par iski value 1 hai these are the locations just mark out all the locations where it is having a value as 1 theek okay? hai clear so number them 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 14 14 14 and 15 ab humne inko number kar diya now we have already numbered them now you know what are these locations this is representing 0 this is representing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and this is 15 correct so this is assuming a value 1 when we have 4 to so 4 pe hum log yahan par 1 dal denge it is assuming a value 1 at 8 and 9 to so 8 and 9 dono jagah par hum 1 dal denge this is representing 8 this is representing 9 This is presenting a value one in twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So, we twelve, thirteen, or fourteen in all these places. One will be added. Now, after this, you can make a subcube here. This is a subcube. As well as you can combine this as a subcube here. As well as you can also make a subcube here. So, in this manner, you can make a truth table. 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 सिंपली uh, हम एक ही इस डायग्राम को यहाँ पर भी हमने बनाया है इट्स वेरी ईजी आई मीन डूइंग इट इज वेरी वेरी ईजी इन द सेम वे यू कैन गेट इक्वेशन फॉर ए इज इक्वल टू बी यू कैन गेट इक्वेशन फॉर ए इज लेस देन बी तो हम सभी के लिए इंडिविजुअल इक्वेश बना सकते हैं एंड बाई यूजिंग दिस इंडिविजुअल इक्वेशन यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दिस सर्किट आई होप दैट यू अंडरस्टूड दिस पार्ट आपको सब कुछ समझ में आया होगा इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट जस्ट लेट वी नो एंड आफ्टर दिस आई कैन I can make equation for a equal to b. I can make equation for a less than b, and then I can implement this as a circuit. And you can see the sub circuit becomes very complicated here. काफी complicated circuit बनेगा. So I've taken a, I've taken a complement, I've taken a not, a a not complement, b b one, b one complement, b zero, b zero complement. And just by looking at the equations that we got, we can implement this as a circuit. Okay. So take some time. Do one thing. Uh, write this equation in your notebooks. This equation को अपने notebook के अंदर लिखेंगे. Write this equation in your notebook and then uh, write after writing both of these equations, just go to this uh, diagram and check how that equation is implemented in this diagram. I hope you understood this. आपको समझ में आया होगा. If you have any doubt whatsoever, अगर आपको कोई भी doubt आता है, if you have any doubt whatsoever. प्लीज प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क योर डाउट अपने डाउट जरूर पूछने हैं ऑब्वियसली इफ यू गेट डाउट दैट मीन्स यू आर डूइंग सम एफर्ट इन यूर ट्राइंग टू लर्न सो ऑलवेज अ टीचर हैज टू रिस्पेक्ट द डाउट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हमें अगर आपको कोई भी डाउट आता है इवन इफ यू आर हैविंग माई न्यू डाउट और स्मॉल डाउट इवन इफ इट इज अली डाउट डोंट हेजिटेट जस्ट आस्क इट ओके आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू आंसर ऑल ऑफ योर डाउट्स